Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech. Today I'm going to be going over how a zone control relay system works. All right, so you ha can control up to six zones with this system here. Okay, you can have six thermostats and then you can have six zone valves. All right, um, what you have is you have on this one, you have two thermostats, so you got zone one and zone two, and you have two zone valves. Okay, this is zone valve two, okay, and the other one's actually connected to the system. All right, so um, you have this whole system here, uh, and this wire right here is the power coming in. Okay, and we have that wire nutted. Yeah, that goes to the power wire to this transformer and this transformer. Okay, it also gets connected to the pumps, pump end switch. Okay, the pump end switch is what controls the circulating pump. All right, um, this here comes out and powers the circulating pump. Uh, there's different ways to do this, but you know, over here you have a zone six pump end switch. Okay, so that would be for say a water heater or something like that. But this one right here, that actually controls your circulating pump. You have all your commons right here and here. They're wire nutted together with the commons for the transformers. So you have that all wire nutted together. Transformers here come into the control boards, two sets. Okay, and they both have fuses. All right, so with this system, you can have multiple thermostats and multiple zone valves. There's also a um, control system that would be able to uh, control circulating pumps as well. All right, but this one controls zone valves for Keiko. All right, this is zone six priority. If you have a thermostat on zone six, um, what you can do is you can actually heat up a hot water heater uh, tank with that, which will be called an indirect hot water heater. All right. So let me just give you the rundown of what's going to happen here. We have on the thermostat zone, so let's just take a look at maybe zone uh, zone three. Okay, Zone three, so you can see it, has R, W, and C. All right, so you got R, which is here, W, and C. All right, uh, R is the power going to the thermostat, uh, and W is the signal wire back from the thermostat back to the control board. The only time you would use C uh, is if you were to power a digital display, you'd have the power wire coming up to the thermostat and it would power the thermostat and then come back down to the C terminal that would power the thermostat. Then when you call for heat, which when we call for heat, this is gonna, these two are gonna touch. All right, now they're touching on this particular thermostat. Now the R and W are touching in this thermostat. W is coming back down as the power wire. It's a signal wire to the control board telling the zone valve to turn on. So, Right now we have zone two calling. None of this is powered right now, so you see me pointing at things and everything, but um, when you have the zone two thermostat calling for heat, which is W is powered, going back to the control board, down here you have uh, one, two, three, and four, okay? You can wire a three-wire uh, three Takos uh, zone valve, okay? Or you could wire a four-wire zone valve like Honeywell's, okay? What you have is you have one matches right up here with here. One and one, two and two, three and three, okay? So it's very easy to wire this part to the zone valve. What you have is you have one is the power coming in, two is the common, okay? And three is a end switch, okay? Once this heats up, you have 24 volts, the hot and the common, okay? Uh, powers a heater in here and that presses down on the valve body and allows the water to flow through. Once that happens completely and you have water that's actually able to flow through, then two and three connect via a switch inside uh, the, the Takeo head here. All right, once C gets continuity, um, your common gets continuity with number three, so number two gets continuity with number three, then that is when your circulating pump turns on, okay? So, Takeo zone valves. Just to go over it again, let's go to zone three. One is power, two is common, and three is the end switch. When you power it with one, okay, it, it powers up here, it comes back through the common, and that completes the circuit. You're heating the element up in here, it's pressing on the valve body once it opens completely, two, which is common, and three, which is the end switch, they touch, okay? Once this board senses continuity between two and three, that's when it turns the uh, pump and switch on and, uh, and turns the circulating pump on and allows you to pump the water. Okay, so that's basically how it works. 
the difference with the Honeywell uh, four wire ones is you'd have power coming in, which would be one, two would be common, and then three and four. When they touch, then that is when the uh, end pump switch turns on. Okay, so it's uh, very similar. All right, so these can be used to power multiple zones. Okay, and it also gives you you know more transformer VI uh, for your amperage uh, for all these zone valves. These are the you know, the zone valves have been around for a long time. They are, they're like 0.9 amps. They have more high efficiency ones now that don't draw as much amperage, so you don't need as many um, or bigger VA transformers. But this allows you to kind of control everything in uh, one six zone valve control assembly. All right. Hope you enjoyed yourself. This is AC Service Tech.